Hi all, welcome to this FC Cologne FIFA 21 predictions video. This one could see a number of individual standout improvements while most of the team potentially staying as it is. But we'll see how this plays out. Obviously, so if you can smash the links, would be awesome. Sub to the channel if you're new, follow me on Twitter at G is a legend. All the links are down below for plus the channel and social media links as always and comment down below who you think will get an upgrade, downgrade and all that kind of good stuff for uh, Cologne. The uh, biggest problem obviously for Cologne this season is that they just done enough to st um, stave off relegation. If memory serves right, I'm sure before lockdown they were in a good position and get post lockdown uh, not so good. But um, they could easily have been like a mid table finish. It's almost like how Schalke were, like they were like post lockdown um, even before winter, they were a half decent team. But anyways, with Cologne, um, Horns, um, picking him as he is, 81 seems fair. Not convinced to upgrade or downgrade, if I'm personally honest. Uh, I feel he's consistent enough. I was actually shocked he even got downgrade from an 83 to an 81. Um, but suppose each to their own. Borno is the most likely mag, uh, major upgrade within the team. Um, very good season for him. Someone that was shocked not to even get an inform in FIFA at all. Like he was in a lot of predictions weekly and he never even got a winter upgrade. That kind of says um, a lot of things really and as a result we feel he is worthy of an upgrade. His discipline yes is a bit of an issue but as a whole we feel he deserves at least an upgrade of 5. We have gone with plus 7. Um, young Belgian talent, more than worthy of it, and that is where we feel he will go. It may not be as high, but um, as I said, we feel he deserves it regardless. Um, Jorge Mayer, we have downgraded him by one. I uh, feel that's most realistic for him, just through like game time and injuries and all the usual factors that uh, kind of make up the um, stats. Um, Izibu, the right back, Dutch right back, getting an upgrade from 71 to 74 seems quite reasonable. Could even hit 75, it would be preferable if it happens, but I feel 74 at the minimum seems logical. Then on to um, Citros, I think that's where it I think C could be silent, I might be wrong. Um, but Zichos is roughly staying as he is. Don't feel convinced in any shape or form to upgrade or downgrade, um, just through a number of factors. Now, a big issue that could happen with uh, Cologne, FC Cologne, Cologne, whatever you go by, is uh, Hector going from life back to CDM. He played most of last season as a CDM, so expect to position him back to that. Um, also, when he's on, when he's been in the national team, he plays life back, but. Um, that's the way I think they will be going. Um, so expect him to probably stay as he is. He may even get an upgrade of going up one, uh, one or two. Um, he was 79 rated. We're going up plus one, but he may even got plus two with how uh, consistent he was and stood out massively for Cologne last season. It's good. I just keeping him as he is. I'm not convinced enough to upgrade or downgrade. As he mostly the league position played a uh, factor for that. Uh, Drexler up one, done just enough a few to just um, merit an upgrade. Modest, I feel we'll get an upgrade mainly due to like injuries and game time, and I think obviously it's not kind of the form that was like a couple a few years ago when what was it? I think it was like twenty eighteen or twenty goals he scored and you thought he was going to be in line for a major upgrade, and then he transfers over to China and he's kind of fallen. Um, down a bit as it were. Uh, Tarot, if remains part of the team, I think will stay as he is. Obviously the season that they got promoted uh, back up after relegation, he was scoring goal fun. It's not quite happened this season, um, is what it is, but um, still a half decent striker. Main upgrade this year for F Cologne, if um, he stays, is Jean Cordoba going from a 76 to an 81. A lot of goals, a lot of form, two in forms, a foot birthday card uh, to boot. So fair play to him and I feel that is more van worthy. Then subs and reserves is 
a little bit trickier to work with, mainly just due to all the usual factors. Kral, I suspect, will stay the same just because obviously um, like the number two Wally is up in the air, so I suspect um, whoever gets that opportunity might experience a little bit of a boost, but it's not a given. Um, but I feel he doesn't really change any shape or form. Sobiek, um, expect probably a downgrade. I'm seeing two for him, so going from a 73 to a 71. Just a lack of game time injuries and all the usual uh, criteria for him. Schmitz, staying as he is, nothing really convinced me upgrade or downgrade. Um, Schaub, the Austrian Cam, I think will probably stay as he is. It's not a given, obviously, but it comes down to um, all the usual factors that's thrown in. Kynes getting quite a decent upgrade, going up 3 to a 78, seemed very fair, had a very good season for them at left wing. Obviously, bagged himself a uh, shapeshifters, which is non performance related, but regardless, still uh, deserves a significant upgrade due to his goals and assists this season. Cancelo going from a 75 gold to a 73 silver. Uh, it's starting to just kind of digress a little bit after a couple of good seasons at Nice. Um, obviously, a lot of hype on him, not materialised, obviously, in since he's came to Germany it's not really happened for him went to Paris FC didn't really happen for him and injuries and other factors kind of going against so I think he'll go from a 75 to a 73 Schindler staying as he is as a 73 I suspect I don't really see anything that will convince me to kind of upgrade downgrade as it were on him and also depends if he stays part of the team then on to Jacobs seems to be one player that looks like will be in line for an upgrade and a position change from left back to uh, left mid. Um, his upgrade looks of 5 from 62 to 67 so potentially decent stat increases across the board for him. Joao Queiroz is a relatively new transfer for what I've, um, I think as well potentially or could be wrong uh, but Joao Queiroz um, 65 rated staying as he is. Um, I'm going to try my hardest to pronounce this name right. Rex Hibich Kaj. Um, apologies if I butchered that. Um, the Kosovo in centre mid. Um, staying most likely as he is. As a 72 rated. And Ozkan, another player that's likely to stay as he is. And then Hogar, um, I think, is someone that's likely for a downgrade. Most likely just minor of going one from a 76 to a 75 and that is roughly it I think realistically it's like the players that are I think no longer part of the team if they are like Clemens, Risa, Verstrat, um, Lesnar, if um, Kessler, if they're still kind of like part of the team um, like going for what I've read and I think some of them are potentially either on loan or like or elsewhere nowadays so it's trying to factor in who's part of the team and who's not but I would say realistically with the team that the starting 11 I think if this is a starting 11 you're looking at potentially 9 to 10 players gold in your starting 11 to kind of use for SBCs also depends on the formation and if you get lucky you might be able to squeeze all 11 goals in the start 11. Obviously Cordoba is under transfer speculation and I believe Bonau is another one that's under transfer speculation but all in all most of this team should be fairly straightforward to kind of put together and they need a bit more squad depth to make the league SBC uh, more easier and also when it comes to if the feature mark any marquee matchups or any of the SBCs in general. But let me know folks in the comments down below who do you think are gonna get an upgrade, a downgrade or staying the same from a cologne perspective. Hopefully you find this useful as always. Um as I say with cologne finishing 14th it does make it a little bit um easier but also harder to use top as well. But hopefully as I said you enjoy this as always. Smash the like always folks up to channel if you um, 
catch you all there folks and I'll see you in the next one.